Good morning guys, today I'm going to be talking about designing your morning routine. Most days when I woke up, the alarm would go off, I'd jump out of bed, straight into the shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, and I would bolt out the door, rush to work, and then I'd only really start waking up once I was at the office. I hated traffic, I needed to be in early, and while I enjoyed being at the office early, the mad rush to get there used to put me in a bit of a bad mood and wasn't a healthy way to start the day. I decided to put together a morning routine and I hope that this will inspire you to start the day with ease and in a very elegant, gentle manner so that your day doesn't reflect how it started. Normally when I wake up, I just need an alarm. I'm a super light sleeper. My phone can be next to me um, by the bed and it only needs to go off once. I'm not somebody who hits the snooze button, but I wake up straight away. I don't jump out of bed. What I do is I find an audiobook or some motivational videos and I normally go and just take a few minutes to kind of wake up that way, very slowly and gently. I will sit up and just get more aware of where I am, listening to some inspiration and some wisdom. After a long night's sleep, it's always good to hydrate. I always have a bottle of water near me and I make sure I have a good drink first thing in the morning. And then I get up and start my day. Before I do anything else, I straighten up. I'm not somebody who sleeps under a huge amount of blankets or with too many pillows, so it really is just straightening out the bedding, puffing up the pillows, folding the blanket, and there I've achieved something immediately in my day. I once heard that in order to make something a habit, you should mix it up with the things that are already habits. Like brushing your teeth first thing in the morning is something that you've probably done most of your life. So as I brush my teeth, I make sure I do something before or after that I'm trying to make a regular habit so that you get into a rhythm of how you do things. Like most people normally brush the teeth, shave, shower, the usual things. I think we all do that. So in between that, I make sure that I do all the new things. So welcome back to the Headspace journey and to day 19. I usually like to meditate. I normally take five to 10 minutes, put on a meditation app and just focus. The quickest way I know how to meditate is to simply close your eyes, focus on your breathing and try not to think about anything. When your mind does drift, just come back to breathing. And it's as simple as that. I'm not somebody who likes to train really hard in the morning, but I do believe in exercise. So I do have a gym session in the evening. So in the mornings, I generally like to have a very gentle session, something like yoga or a good stretching routine. Kind of that's the best way that I can think of to at least just get my body moving and, and into the swing of things. Even a yoga workout can break a sweat, so I will hop into the shower and get fresh for the day. Once I'm dressed, I'll head downstairs, make myself a cup of tea, or if I'm fasting, some warm water with lemon, and I usually try to journal. I normally journal and set out my intentions, I practice gratitude, and 
write a to-do list. I try to read in the morning. I've heard that long form reading is very good for firing up your brain. So I like to have a good read in the morning, get through my average pages per day at least. And then when I'm done with that, just do some final affirmations in front of the mirror and then head out to start my day. Some of the things I don't do in the morning is I don't jump on my phone straight away reading text messages, going online, checking social media and especially no email. A good morning routine needs an even better evening routine. So before I go to bed, amongst all the other things I do, I like to fill the kettle so I don't have to think about it in the morning. I just flip the switch. I lay out any clothes I might need, either for training or for my work day. I pack my bag so that it's just easier to get up and go. If you've got any tips for morning routines, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you're motivated for Monday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Stay cool.